Hi, Meredith here. I'm here with a froggy throat and a squeaky chair and a frequently texting mom and soon a boy that will be up for the day. So please ignore all the weird noises you hear in the recording of this video. I'm going to show you how to cut a design larger than your mat or your piece of vinyl. We can do it a couple of different ways. If you have the business edition, you can see over here the tiling feature is in the media layout setup panel, but I'm going to show you how to do it if you had the plain old free version of Silhouette. So we've got our design here, and the first step is always to make a copy. I'm going to do that by alt clicking and dragging over here. You make a copy uh, that you leave over here unbothered because there's a better than even chance you're really going to mess things up and you might need to just scrap the whole thing and start again and when you do you can delete it all make another copy of that drag it over to your work area and start again easily okay so we want to cut this design larger than our mat you can see this red rectangle is the cut area of our silhouette mat so let's make this bigger if we alt and click on the corner handles we can make it bigger while keeping it centered where we originally had it centered we're gonna do that so let's make it about that big you can plainly see that it falls outside the cut area of our mat so we're gonna have to cut this into two different portions so that much will fit on and then whatever's over here we'll have to cut in a second cut so how we're gonna do this is well first of all when you're looking at this you think well I'll just grab my knife tool and I'll cut it in half you can do that but it won't turn out how you think let's try it we'll grab our knife tool and we'll cut we don't want our cut to slide off to the right so we're gonna click our shift and then we're gonna click and drag our knife tool and we'll cut down there and we can see yes it did it cut it but it's not going to work out for us because it left a gap. Um, this ungrouped everything, so let's just grab everything and pull it off to the side. And we can see that, yes, it did cut, but when we zoom in, we can see that we have left a significant gap here. Now, when we line it up, it's never going to line up right. If we line up the top of our circle, we can see that the symbol is not lined up we line the symbol up we can see the top it's never going to work because we've erased where the knife cut we've erased this here so that's not going to work um, so I'm going to undo I'm not I have the business edition so I could use the multiple undo but I'll just keep doing this like I had the free version of silhouette okay so we've got our our thing here we know the knife won't work fortunately there is something that will work and that is divide it's over here in the modify panel divide so let's position our our design so that part of it is all within the cut area um, if you look at my design you'll see that this rebel symbol and these letters are white um, that's because I purposefully made this a grouped a bunch of grouped shapes and I did that on purpose so you can see that the modify window will not cut many shapes this looks like one shape because it's all grouped together but it's not it's multiple shapes this E is a shape the C is a shape the N is a shape all of these things are shapes so let me show you how you divide and I'll show you why the shapes won't work we're gonna draw a rectangle that is going to be everything that will be in our second cut so we'll come in a little bit inside our cut surface and we will draw a rectangle that starts above our design continues below our design and goes all the way out past the right edge of our design now what we're going to do is divide this shape from this shape even though this is many shapes I'm doing that so I can show you oh no we can't do it it won't divide more than 16 shapes at one time what are we going to do well, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Let's get rid of this rectangle as if we had never drawn it. We're going to make all of these shapes one shape by making it a compound path. So we're going to right click on it and we're going to make it a compound path. All of the bits are still here, 
but now all of these are one shape. I'm going to grab the properties of this because I like to design in color. I did that by control well, at control and clicking on the thing that has the properties I want. Or I could have gone up here to the fill and line color and done it that way. So now if you look down here at this A and this N, you can see that I can see the mat through the design. The A, the N, they're cut out. It's because this is all one shape now. So let's position it inside our mat. Let's draw our rectangle. I'll start above the shape. I will continue below the shape. I'll continue past the shape here. And while that's selected, I will select my shape. I will divide. And then we'll see that it divided. It divided perfectly. Now it is no longer a compound path. It has broken them all up, so we're going to have to grab everything and remake the compound path. So I'm going to grab all of these bits and I'm going to, oops, I didn't get that middle part. So I will shift and click. All of these are going to be our first cut. I'm going to make this a compound path. That's going to be our first cut. That fits into our cut area. So that's done. Let's move it aside. This one, we need to do some cleanup. Let me select the whole thing and bring it over onto the mat. We need to do some cleanup because it made some duplicates. I don't know why it did that. I'm sure somebody does, but I don't. What we want to cut is currently stacked on top. All these bits are stacked, and we want it on the bottom so we can easily grab what we don't want. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click on what we want, and we're going to send it to the back. Now we can grab all the extra bits that we do. Oh, first let's take our rectangle away. Oops. Let me take the rectangle away first. Let's take the rectangle away. We don't need it. And we're going to see that it looks different now. We don't care. Um, our extra T, H, and E bits came out with it. So we won't have to get rid of those in a minute, but we're going to delete that. But now we can see the T, H, and E extra bits are gone. But this extra bit is still here. This extra bit is still here. And the extra bits here are still here. We're going to drag them off and we're going to delete them because we don't need them. So let's just select all those and delete them. We don't need them. Now we have all of these which we're going to drag, click and drag to select. That's all going to be our second cut. We're going to right click, make it a compound path. We're going to either control click on our orange or we're going to go up here to our fill and 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 line color options and we're going to make it oh it was a slightly different orange oh well, we'll just pretend that it was the same orange okay so now we can plainly see that this will line up perfectly with, because we don't have that gap now we've got two cuts that's all there is to it this is a really simple one, simple to line up, but if yours weren't, if yours had a lot of shapes in here, it'd be a little harder to line up. Um, how we do it is with alignment squares. So let's center this on our page here. Oop. Let's temporarily group this and center it on our page, and then Control shift g to ungroup it. How we're going to use alignment shapes is we're going to draw here between the two pieces a rectangle. We're going to alt click to make a copy. Then we're going to click and drag to select both of those rectangles. And we're going to alt click to make another copy down here, which we're going to make smaller so that it fits in our cut design. And we're going to grab one of these rectangles. We're going to grab one of these rectangles. We're going to grab this. And we're going to group all that together. Then we're going to grab these two rectangles in this side. We're going to group them together. Now we'll cut this. Then we'll cut this. 
and after we've cut it, we've weeded it, we can line it up easily. We can know that it's perfectly lined up when these rectangles are lined up. So if we look at that, we can say, oh, that looks pretty good, but we can see that it's not perfect. So if we, if we line up that rectangle perfectly and that rectangle perfectly, we'll know that our design is lined up perfectly. Okay, there you go. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.